this is Kenneth Clark. I want to welcome you to this broadcast I'm doing here on a Sunday afternoon, 2011. I, I dedicate these broadcasts to, to, to motivate you, to inspire you, to help take your thinking to another level. And I come today, I want to talk to you about you are forgiven. You are forgiven. Think about it. No matter how bad you waddled in the mud, whatever you've done, whatever type of sin you've committed, and you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, He come on the inside and lives in you. He's forgiven you. Let's talk about what is forgiveness. What is forgiveness? It's something that you cancel out. You decided you didn't want your old life anymore. I decided 20 some years ago that I wanted to be a Christian. I wanted to get the mind of Christ. I wanted to do the right thing. I wanted a better life. And when I first dabbled in, um, you know, I had such uh, problems in life. Well, things, I was unhappy, I was depressed, I, I didn't have any hope. And so somebody was telling me about the love of God, Jesus can do this, Jesus can do that. And he told me all of what he was saying. So I started going to church, I dedicated my life to God, I, I said the salvation prayer, I asked him to come into my heart, and I believe that Jesus rose from the dead. In that moment, I was forgiven of my sin. And the trick of the enemy, what he does, he comes in and he tells you, you don't feel any different. I don't feel any different. Then you start pondering on those thoughts of the trick of the enemy. And, 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 and he, he, he says, you don't feel any different. You know, when you accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, sometimes you feel better and sometimes you don't. It just depends on the situation. So, what am I saying? You don't go according to how you feel. You go according to what you believe. Because the enemy will take that seed that you don't feel any different. How you don't feel forgiven. You still have that guilt. You still have that problem. You still dealing with that that thought of not feeling forgiven. Well, I want you to. To X that out, cancel that out of your mind, because it's not a feeling. Jesus said, have faith in God. Believe. It didn't say have feeling in God. As you journey in life, God will give you uh, a glimpse of how it feels to be cleansed and, and how it feels to be uh, free. But it doesn't always start out like that. It start out, you just simply believe in the promises of God. He says you are forgiven. You are forgiven. Now, let me give you an example. Uh, in the Bible, there was this, this man, he was he was lying there, he was a, had a palsy, and basically he was paralyzed. And people brought him to service, brought him to Jesus, lying in the bed. This is in Matthew, the ninth chapter, the second verse. And Jesus, seeing their faith, seeing their faith, not how he felt. He saw their faith, what they believed. When you believe something, you put actions to it. And so Jesus told the man, be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. He was forgiven. Your sin is forgiven. He was forgiven. Think about it. You are forgiven. No matter what you've done that you think that can't be forgiven. Jesus is passing your passing you by and saying, Be of good cheer! Be of good cheer! You are forgiven! Quit going by how you feel and the way you think. Just believe the promises of God. That's all you need to do is stretch yourself out on the promises of God. 
God says you are forgiven. You are forgiven because he loves you. When Jesus died on the cross, he went and he got... They whipped him. They scarred him. They nailed his hands to that cross. That's... Jesus wasn't... Um, he did that for us so that we don't have to perish. Think about that. Think about the price that Jesus did. He loved us unconditionally. Jesus did. He laid his life down on that altar. I'm sure he didn't feel like laying his life down to be nailed and spit on and whipped. Jesus didn't go according to how he felt. He went according to the will of the Father that was in his heart. He must go and die on that cross so that we can have life and have it more abundantly. Think about that. You are forgiven. Jesus has already forgiven you. If you already repented, just start believing that you are forgiven. I want to thank you for stopping in on this broadcast that I'm doing here. If you'll take these promises from the Word of God, that you are, you are already forgiven, Matthew 9 and 2. Just be of good cheer, is all I ask you. I want to thank you for stopping in. God bless you.